Hello fam, in today's video I'm going to show you how to edit videos using the Filmora video editing software, so if you are new to Filmora, Filmora is a popular video editing software used by both beginners and professionals creators for making videos. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description below to try out Filmora X for free, do note that the free trial comes with a watermark on exported videos, so to remove the watermark, you have to upgrade your license to a subscription or annual plan. On the website you can see the cost for a Filmora license. Filmora is compatible with both Windows and Mac OS, so do make sure to choose your operating system before purchasing a license. After installation, open up the software and you will see the option to choose the aspect ratio of your project or you can open a previous one, I'm gonna leave mine as 16 by 9 which is the aspect ratio for landscape videos and then click new project. On the top left corner, we have the file where you can save, add or open a project, we also have the edit, tools, view, the export button and help. Right below that, we have the media tab. This where you import your videos, images or audio files that you want to edit on your timeline. Next is the audio, you get access to the film or a stock music track which you can add to your videos, next is the transition, which you can use to transit to another scene, we also have the effect, element and split screen. So let's start with importing some media files from our computer. To import a media into Filmora, you can drag and drop your media file from your file folder, or you can double tap the media space to open up the file folder and choose the file you want to edit in your project and click open. So the next step is to edit your media clips. So to do that, we have to drag our media file into the timeline. Here you can see the wave patterns which means it's an audio file, and you can also see a thumbnail indicating that this is a video. So if you have a media you want to delete from your timeline, click the media and then click the delete button on your keyboard or click the trash icon on the top left corner of your timeline to delete. If you want to move a clip, click on it and drag using your mouse or your trackpad to move it around the timeline. To scroll through the timeline you can use the red playhead to do that, just click on it and drag it. While to view playback in real time, click on the play button below the preview screen to see how your video is coming together. To zoom in and zoom out of the timeline, click on the numbers above your track and click the left key on your mouse and drag your cursor left and right to zoom in or out, or you can click on the plus and minus button on the right corner below the preview screen. If you are editing a video and you want to cut out a certain portion of the video, bring your playhead where you want to make a cut and click on the scissor icon on the playhead to split the track and you can delete the rest but if you want to make use of the other piece, but you just want to remove that specific area of the video, place the playhead and make a cut in the beginning of the mistake and at the end and delete the mistake. If you want to remove the audio from your video, click the video underneath it, bring your cursor to it and drag the horizontal line to negative infinity dB to mute the audio from the video. If you want to copy a media on the timeline, click on it and press Ctrl C and take your playhead and take it where you want to paste it and press Ctrl V to paste. To shorten your clip, take your cursor to the end, click and drag to shorten your clip. So next we gonna add a B-roll to our project. So B-roll are basically secondary clips used mainly to describe or visualize what the creator is talking about at that point in the video. So to add a B-roll to your video, Take a clip from the media tab that you want to use as your B-roll and add that to your second video track and position it at the right moment of the action. So next I'm going to show you how to add text to your video project. So to do this, click on the title tab. You will see lots of text like openers, titles, lower thirds etc. So I'm gonna go with titles and I'm gonna click on default titles. So to edit your text, double tap your text block and type in your text. You can change the font of your title orientation, size, color, and also add effects. So to change the color of your text, click on the advanced button, you will see the option to change color, so pick the color you want, or you can click more to see other colors, or you can input your color code, if you have one, and then click on the OK button. You can also add animation to your text by clicking on the animation tab, and choose presets, under preset will have preset animation and preset motion, so I'm gonna add, slide right, as my animation and click on OK to apply the animation. So next I'm gonna show you how to add a transition to your video. To add a transition, 
You need to have a clip that you want to transit into, so I'm gonna add one now. Click on the transition tab you will see your favorite, include and other category for other types of transition to add to your favorite, tick on the heart icon to do that. If you see a transition you want, drag it to your clips to apply it, I'm gonna go with flash and apply it into my project, now you can preview to see how your transition looks like. Next I'm gonna show you how to scale in and out of your video. To do that, double click on the clip you want to scale, and on the video section click on the transform drop down, and you will see the option to rotate, flip or scale your clip, so to scale in and out, point your cursor to scale dot and increase to scale in or decrease to scale out, after that, click the OK button to apply the effect. You can also play around with the effect and element tab, if you want to. So if you are satisfied with the way your video is, you can click on the export to fully render your video, input your video name and location to export your video, and choose the video format you want the video to render it and click to export your finished video, depending on the size of the video and effects added contribute to how long it will take to fully render. So now your video is fully rendered, you can now watch your finished video, and it's ready to be uploaded on any platform of your choice. So that's the end of today's video, check the description to grab a free trial of Filmora and start editing awesome videos today, and I will see you in the next one, bye.